Welcome to Freshly for Animated. The most universally used one is the joint which is based on two overlapping perfect circles. So if I disassemble this bit here, if we go in outline mode, you can see that there are circles defining this joint. If I snap this lower arm back into position and use Kineflex to rotate, you will see this joint never breaks. This is the arm of our Kinefox character. We can bend it, we can keep bending it, and it will just never break. Here is the leg of the Kinefox. Same story. Two overlapping circles. The joint can be pushed very far and it will never break. You can download this character. It's a free download from our website. All of his joints are based on perfect circles, so it's very easy to pose him. Everything is circle based in Kinefox. Now, this leg here, it's a wolf's hind leg. If we look at the outline mode, you will see the first one, the first part, the area that connects to the pelvis is based on type 1, while here the knee has a smaller circle and two parts that don't perfectly overlap. Now let's look at how this thing looks in action. So this is what I call type 2 joint. See, it looks quite convincing up to a point and here it starts to break. So if we want to have a fully straightened knee, we will need to add extra states inside those two bits. But to a certain extent, it's quite, quite functional. Now this one here is based again on overlapping circles, while the third bit here, the heel, is a sharp edge joint. It's another case of a joint that can work within certain limits. So as you can see, we can push it, we can push it quite a lot, but beyond a certain point, those elements will start revealing that the joint breaks and we will need to go inside and add a second frame just to clean it up and make it work. This last leg here is the front leg of a horse. It's even more complicated because it has many more elements to it. The first one here, the shoulder blade connecting to the upper arm, we have two overlapping circles, so this is type 1 joint. The second one, the elbow, has a type 3 joint because we really needed this sharp edge here. And all the others are also type 1 so let's see this one in action. If we like to just stretch the leg backward, this one never breaks. Now this joint here can work to a certain degree, stretching back this way, but more importantly, we would need this joint to bend forward because that's what this joint would normally do. Now see how beyond a certain point not only the joint breaks 
but the leg just appears to be a little shorter. So we'll need to compensate for length. These other ones that are based on perfect circles, they never break and we can come up with some very nice poses. While with this one, we'll have to just go inside and fix the elements. I'll just demonstrate that very briefly. I'll go inside and work with this shape. All that I need to do is just push a little bit so that the breaking is not obvious and then I'll choose the second frame and move the leg kind of like this. Ideally I'll need a second bit inside this other part. Anyway, so this is just the brief introduction of the types of joints. Number one, based on two perfectly overlapping circles. Number two, which still has a circle in it. And number three, where the elements join just in a point. Freshly Flanimated. animated.